Hey Earth Signs, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your guys' bi daily. Okay, so it's for my Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be for July 10 and 11. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. To all my new subscribers, hello, welcome. And um, let's see what these messages have for you guys. Capricorn, you have the Six of Pentacles reversed. You're not willing to let someone borrow money. Let's see. Taurus, you have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Oh no, missed opportunity. What happened? What happened, yo? Virgo, you have the Queen of Swords reversed. You told somebody off. Or you're thinking about telling someone off. <laughs> All right, Capricorn men. What's going on with my Capricorn men? The Emperor. You could be dealing with the fire sign. And Aries, perhaps. That's the sign of Aries right there. And then we have the, what is this? Six of Cups reversed. Okay, you could be dealing with somebody from the past. Or someone you haven't seen in a long time. Maybe even a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. I'm definitely seeing that you are refusing to give. Refusing to give or see someone. Maybe this person was always the one giving. Or you were the, always the one giving. And now you're just like, no. I'm going to stop giving now. Because they don't appreciate it. Or they just use me. Okay. Yeah, you're definitely seeing that they 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 were using you. Could be an could be an uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm feeling like you're taking on the Emperor energy. You could have fire in your chart. Maybe you have Aries in your chart, and um, you're refusing. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing a refusal. You're turning down an offer or or refusing to give to somebody. Maybe you. Uh, maybe you're the owner of a company, okay? You could be an owner of your own company. And you're refusing to give to somebody, maybe family member, just because they're family. You're like, no, I know why you need it or blah, blah, blah. But, you know, when you're an emperor and it comes to business, you can't, you can't put your heart, no feelings into it, right? So it's like you're using logic or something. Not logic, but you're using your intuition about this situation. Definitely that. You probably know that they're going to use it for other bad things or whatever. And you're just like, no. Female Capricorns. Let's see. Female Capricorns. Two of Cups. Ooh la la. Someone's going to be getting all fricky and frisbee, whatever you call it. Someone's good. Both of you guys going to be getting wet. No. <laughs> Ace of Swords reversed. Okay, so maybe that you guys are dirty talking to each other. Dirty talk. Okay, you could be dealing with your lover here because with the Two of Cups, it's like, you guys are all in love and shit, all lovey-dovey. You could, you know, you guys probably have a relationship where you're like talking shit to each other, but it's all love. Okay, you guys could be all sarcastic and shit. You could be trying to play hard to get just for the sake of teasing. That's, I don't know why, but that's what I'm seeing here. Okay. Either that, that's for some of my Capricorns. My other Capricorns here... I'm seeing that you missed an opportunity with someone and that could have possibly been your soulmate. <laughs> you missed an offer. You didn't you refused to see something in this person or whatever. It could have been a Cancer Scorpio Pisces or an Aquarius Libra Gemini. Yeah, you turned down an offer is what I'm seeing here. Okay? And that could have been like your soulmate or something and you're like, "Oh fuck." You know? Careful with that. For some of you, if you're on, on a honeymoon and you're like in your love circle, bubble of love, try not to be a bitch or say something to really fuck up the energy. Okay? 
That's what I'm seeing here. Don't fuck up the energy. All right, Taurus men, you have the Ace of Pentacles reverse. You refused an offer, you turned it down, or you missed it. Let's see. Oh, Eight of Cups. You had to walk away from an offer. Could have been with a person, place, or thing. Could have walked away from uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or another Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. You had to, you turned down an offer, or they turned down an offer to you. Okay? Then we have the Three of Cups. So, with you walking away from this offer, it brings you joy. Okay, there's going to be a celebration in something. This is you probably partying with your homies, going out on a date, or, you know, getting together with friends or family. It could be anything. Okay? Maybe you got out of a, you had to walk out, uh, walk out of a commitment because you didn't have enough freedom, and now that you do, you're out there having fun. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay? For some of you, for, you know, some of my other Taurus men, it's like... You could have missed an offer. You you got a little upset about it and you just had to walk away from the idea or just get over it. And now you're just like, whatever, I'm celebrating anyway, you know? <laughs> All right, so let's see. Taurus women. Taurus women. Six of Wands. Hmm. Interesting. The Lovers Reversed. All right. So with the Lovers Reversed and the Ace of Pentacles Reversed, you definitely walked away from a relationship. Okay. A person, your lover, whatever. Could have been a Gemini or another uh, Earth sign. You definitely turned down an offer. Okay. You, by turning it down or walking away from this relationship, now you're succeeding, you're triumphant, you're running your game, you feel on top of the world. You're able to succeed in many ways possible that you, that you couldn't before in this relationship because maybe you felt stuck, okay? Or maybe you had to turn down an offer to gang something better. Could be with an Aries Leo Sag. Maybe a Gemini or another Earth sign. But definitely that may could be, you know, maybe a Leo, like I said. I used to Sag, but Six of Wands talks about being triumphant, successful. Okay. Especially with the lovers reversed. You you definitely had to let someone go or refuse an offer or cut them out so that you can be, you know, on your A game. Definitely seeing that. Or you're not even focused. You're not even focused on love right now. You're just focused on winning. And that's what I'm seeing. You're winning right now, girl. Shit. All right. So, Virgo. 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 You have the Queen of Swords reversed. Who pissed you off? You pissed someone off. Or they, or they pissed you off. Let me see. Virgo men. Virgo men, please. Let's scoop this over. We're done with this. Virgo men. The full. The full reversed. Okay, one more, please. Santa Muerte. Wow, okay. So, you are not willing to... Dude. This is fucked up. If this person, no wonder why someone's pissed off. Someone got pregnant. Someone got pregnant. You told them not to have it or whatever. And you refused to, to take the leap of faith. And now someone's pissed off. They're like, I can't believe you're like this. You knock somebody up. You told them not to have it maybe. Or they told you they don't want to have it. And see, this is like packing your shit and going. Taking a leap of faith, starting new beginnings. Reverse is like refusing to have new beginnings. Being stubborn, feeling stuck and, you know, stagnant, not willing to make a change in your life or whatever. This could be your change. But someone's refusing to see that. No wonder why the Queen of Swords is reversed. Someone's fucking pissed off. 
definitely someone's probably knocked up a mother figure or whatever baby mama and you're like no or they said no either or someone's pissed off all right so let's see virgo women Oh shit, three. High Priestess with the Six of Swords reversed and the Ten of Cups. Wow. Okay, so with the Queen of Swords reversed and the Six of Swords reversed, you're getting over, you're definitely getting over putting your swords down, trying not to think negative all the time and being bitchy, okay? Because this is someone being bitchy all the time bitching someone out but now you're like you're trying to change that you want to be more spiritual want to be more happy maybe you want a family life maybe you want to be you know the house the dog the, the husband the you know everything you want to be more spiritual now you could be dealing with a capricorn taurus or virgo cancer scorpio pisces or an aquarius libra gemini but definitely you are happy you're in your happy place you're not letting fuckery get to you or you're trying hard not to be in your bitchy ass attitude or whatever or try to let people in to make you you know a certain way so it's like you're trying to be in your zone you're trying to be more spiritual trying to use your intuition okay this could be you uh wanting to get more into spirituality and to uh even what i'm doing too and to tarot, divination. Maybe you're a, a light worker as well. Okay? So definitely I'm seeing you being more happy. Someone's going to be more happy or try to work to be more happy. <laughs> and less bitchy is what I'm seeing here. So, <laughs> All right, Earth Signs, this was your bye dailies. Please let me know in the comments below what you thought. I'd like to hear about your guys' thoughts. I can hear them too. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. That's creepy, right? I wouldn't want to hear people's thoughts. I mean, low key, I could, I would want to read minds and sometimes I'm able to in a creepy way, but sometimes you don't want to. <laughs> so let me know in the comments below what you guys thought. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Love you guys and I'll see you in your next video. Bye-bye.